Shalom, shalom. In today's message, I want to tell you to avoid being this type of guy. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man in this society that we live in you know men have been conditioned to be overly emotional to be effeminate you know told that their masculinity is is toxic if they're masculine you know this world that promotes a gynocratic, feministic type mindset will promote you being a nice guy. And the nice guys are always gonna get taken advantage of. The nice guys is gonna get taken advantage by your own mama as a grown man. The nice guys is always gonna get taken advantage of by women. You know, when we look at Proverbs 31 and it says, you know, at the beginning of the book, this is an oracle given to him by his mother. It's talking about King Lemuel. You know, we read further down and it says, do not give your way to women which destroy kings. You see what I'm saying? And there's a way that women will destroy kings and it comes from you being a nice guy. When I say do not be a nice guy, you don't want to be this type of guy. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be respectful you shouldn't be a gentleman. I'm not saying that. You should respect women. You should, uh, you know, honor women. But the word tells us how to honor them. It tells us to honor them, deal with them in an understanding way because they are the weaker vessel. It's not saying that they're weak. They're just weaker, not as strong. Okay? Let me give you some examples of being a nice guy. Man, if you're out here dating and you're you're open, you know, trying to find a wife and you're saying, man, I'm a nice guy, you know, when a woman goes through a hard time, she's going to lean on the nice guy to fulfill that need. And at the same time, she's not even interested in you because she knows she can run all over you. She knows you have she has you around her fingers. What else falls into the category of a nice guy where well, you're just chasing a woman? She's told you flat out that she doesn't, she's not interested in you. She doesn't want to uh, hang out with you. And she's saying things like, well, you know, you're a nice guy, but you know, I'm not really, you know, you're not really my type. Listen to what I'm saying. You know, you know, you're, you're such a nice guy. You're so sweet. You're so this. You're generally a nice guy, but you're just not my type. You gotta listen to her words. Listen to her words. But trust and believe. Man, let her be in a bind for some money. Because you're so thirsty as a man and you overly pursue and chase women when they don't even want you, you're gonna get taken advantage of. She's gonna call you, hey, how are you doing, you know? Maybe we can go get a, you know, go get a little bite to eat, but, and you're going to be like, oh, how are you doing? And then she's going to drop that bomb on you. She's going to drop that bomb on you and be like, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm about to get evicted. You know, I need a new transmission. I need this. And you're going to be that nice guy that's going to do it. Knowing good and well, you're not going to get a return on investment because she's not interested in you. When we look at the pillars of the faith in the book, these were not nice guys they were righteous men. They didn't bow down and worship women and kiss their feet. They didn't do all that. They were, they were assertive, abrasive at times when they needed it, and they dealt with women in an understanding way. You know, another one, you got a lot of mama's boys out here that they consider themselves nice guys, and what happens is they get into a relationship with a woman and they're still worshiping mama, 
you know, still on mama's titty and they never fully step out to be a man and then to submit to Hamashiach, Yahshua Hamashiach. And then it's always catastrophic in their relationships because they think that they're good guys. They say, man, I'm a nice guy, but these women want me to take care of them over my mama. Wait a minute. The word says you're supposed to leave your father and mother and cleave unto your wife. Cleave unto your wife don't mean worship her. This is why we got, this is why women genuinely don't like a guy who's a mama's boy because your mama will call and you are, the whole world stops for your mama. But your wife, she gets put at a status below your mama when she's supposed to have the higher status. You're supposed to cleave unto your woman, not your mama. You got a lot of men, nice guys, they try to lead through the wisdom of their mama and women can recognize that. And they'll run all over you. You know, nice guys often are indecisive, passive. They don't lead. They, they, they're in a position of leadership, but what happens is they end up following. They ask the women, they ask the woman to make all of the decisions. Where do you want to go to eat? Where do you want me to take you? What do you want me to do? How do I get you to like me? That's all nice guy shit. That's all nice guy shit. And that's going to get you taken advantage of. Man, until you righteously step into your masculinity and be that leader that the Most High Yah tells you to be, you're going to constantly get taken advantage of and you don't want to be that guy. You know, the difference between the nice guy and the assertive, the righteous guy, uh, if I'm dating and a woman call me and I'm, I'm in the process of trying to vet out women to, to find a wife, you can't call me with your emergency because I'm not your covering. I'm not your covering. I didn't choose you. Your transmission falling out, you about to get evicted, that's not a me problem. And this is what happens oftentimes too. Men out here that have kids, you're divorced or you're not with the woman, the mother of your children, what oftentimes happen is when you're a nice guy, that woman will feel like she has an avenue to always come back and lean on you as a covering, even though y'all aren't in a relationship. And she takes advantage of the authority she's been given to be a mother and tries to, you know, play that on your life to act like she has a right to your resources. That's nice guy shit. Happens all the time. It's not until you put your foot down and say, hey, hey, I understand you going through it, but everybody goes through something. And, uh, you know, I haven't chosen you as a woman, so I can't help you. Click, <laughs> have a good day, click. Versus the nice guy, knowing good and well, this woman has told him that she, and you are you already know she ain't feeling you. You already know she ain't feeling you. The minute she got an emergency, you're so doggone, so doggone thirsty and desperate to try to get in her good graces that you're getting taken advantage of. Happens all the time. Man, these women, let me ask you something. All of these women that get out here and say they want a nice guy, how come they not giving the nice guy any time of day? They're giving the guy who's assertive. He might be an assertive deadbeat, but they're giving him a time of day. You know, they're giving this guy that can make a decision even though he ain't got nothing going on for himself, the time of day. They're, they're wasting their time on these deadbeat jokers. That's not passive. That's not indecisive. Why you think they like the bad guys? Why you think they go for them first? They're not passive. They're not um, indecisive. Still fools, but women will go for them. I'm telling you, you do not want to be the nice guy. You will get taken advantage of. If you the guy that's at work and you're hitting on women in the workplace. You got a girl you got a crush on. I'm telling you, man, that in the workplace, you don't need to be trying to find no woman in, in there anyways. There's so many, so many different things wrong with that where that can backfire on you. But furthermore, she's going to soak up the attention you're giving her. And you're not going to get any return on investment. You're not going to get any submission. You're not going to get any respect. You'll be the guy that She's promising you that in the future, y'all can go on a date 
and you're just steady buying flowers and bullshit. Steady dropping our hall Valentine's Day. You got other men coming and doing the same damn thing. Man, you gotta avoid being the nice guy. Man, when you look at Abraham, Moses, Isaac, Jacob, David, when you look at these men, these weren't nice guys. These was warriors. That doesn't mean that they disrespected women and uh, you know, weren't gentlemen. They just didn't tolerate no shit. And I'm telling you the same thing. Don't tolerate no shit. Men, get out of the business of buying bullshit. When you go to Walmart, you're not going in there saying, well, let me buy some bullshit. No, you're going in there trying to find quality. Who's ever went into a grocery store and said, let me find all the rotten fruit. Let me find all the rotten vests. Let me find all the meat that's about to spoil. But when it comes to a woman, when it comes to a woman, you'll be the nice guy buying all her bullshit and you ain't getting nothing quality. I'm telling you, the nice guy will always get taken advantage of. Return to the covenant, man. Return to the covenant. The Most High Yah will not allow an effeminate man in the kingdom. That's the trait of a woman to be indecisive, have a hard time making decisions, want to be led. A lot of men out there are like that. They want a woman leading them. And for that reason, you're going to get taken advantage of. No matter how much you tell yourself you're the man of the house, you in charge, you know good and damn well you ain't in damn charge. That's why you're out here chasing these women and they don't want you. When you are assertive, can make a decision and righteously following Hamashiach, you ain't got to worry. You're gonna, you're gonna realize you got more women out there that you can pick from and you gotta fight them jokers off. That's what you got to worry about. But once they see that you, you, you following something real, oh, it's game over. You ain't got to have on the best clothes, the best shoes and all of that. They see the righteousness in you. They see the light in you. And it's something that they, when we look at the word amongst a thousand people, the preacher could only find one righteous man. Amongst the women, he found none. So yeah, when they see that that light is on you and you got an anointing on your life, oh, all that other stuff that the world says, you know, is required, it don't even matter. She'll follow, she'll follow you off a doggone cliff at that point. But you're not going to get that. You're not going to get the submission, the respect, and the esteem from a woman being a nice guy. But you will get taken advantage of. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight. Pow.